Well, hi, Lauren. Believe it or not, today was actually the warmest day for a lot of folks in terms of their work week, Monday through Friday, which means after today, those temps are going to get much colder. So we caught up with some folks today trying to take full advantage of just that. At Raleigh's Lake Johnson today, some people call it like they see it. It turned out to be a beautiful day, great day to walk dogs. And some call it like they feel it. It's wonderful, wonderful, nice and brisk. Almost all three elements, earth, no wind, but a little bit of fire. Yeah, but we've also got the enclosure with yeah, some heat inside too. Up. Hours ahead of the Canes game this afternoon against the Los Angeles Kings, thousands of Caniacs decided to tailgate in the cold, like Russ Coppercito. It was my idea because it was cold. Coppercito decided to put some jambalaya in the pot to feed his family and friends. The temperature outside and in this pot, just right ahead of puck drop. No match for these fans. It's not as cold as I was expecting it to be. No, the sun's out. It feels great. When you got the Canes gear, you're invincible, right? Not unless you're exposed. Well, tell me, how you feeling? What's up? What are you going to say? Uh, we forgot the thing for the girls, so we have no food. You want that to go on TV? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we have some things to teach her. Such as what to do when she buys her first home and has to prep for wintry weather. Experts suggest winterizing your home by inspecting your furnace. Look and seal any potential leaks. Check on the insulation of your attic and crawl space and consider updating your windows, all to help save on energy costs. And if you happen to be on the road, experts are suggesting make sure that you check your car battery, the coolant, the wipers, the, the lights on your vehicle as well. Not only will this help protect you and other folks on the road, but as well as in the case of any emergency. We are live in Raleigh tonight. Dwan Hogard, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.